Hey! Oh, rocket chick. Roger. Hello there. Well, I thought I would just throw together a, a short video of some clips that I've shot since I've been here. I don't really have anything organized yet uh, or anything specific. I've got a couple interviews coming up that I'm going to do, and they will be coming up within the next few days. This is the Tommy Bomber River here. It's really kind of low right now, but this level, this river changes all the time. Uh, if you notice on my QA11, this thing was really flowing because they'd had a lot of rain up north and this thing was flowing. When I flew this, my drone over this river yesterday, I almost lost this thing. I lost complete sight of it. And thank God we had return to home technology in this thing and I was able to recover it. At, at one point I thought I was going to completely lose it, but fortunately I got it back. The uh, the Tommy Armour River, that water is also is very cold. Uh, when I was, after I recovered the drone, I decided to find a, a blank spot, you know, where I could uh, safely fly it and not worry about hitting trees because trees were all over the river. So I took it up about 300 feet and that's where I'm at right now. And that's Green Olandia. That, what you're looking at right there, I don't think is Green Olandia, but when you see these other buildings here, all of this is part of Green Ol what they call Green Olandia. Uh, it, it's a, there's a lot of these red brick apartment buildings. You'll see in a minute that that's the Oral Verde right in front of us there. Where you see all the trees, that's the Tommy Bomber River. When you get up to the high ground by, by Turi, you can see where these rivers are. Where you see these lines of trees, uh, those are those are rivers that cut through Cuenca. I was told that there's four rivers here, but I only know about this one, the Tommy Bomba. They call the Rio Tommy Bomba. Beautiful river. And this, what the the way you see the here, I'm climbing just a little bit further. The way you see the clouds here, that's pretty much the way it is here. It's we it's been this way since I've been here. It's usually fairly cloudy in the morning and then the sun comes out and especially I guess this time of year is, I was told that this is the best time of the year to be here and it warms up pretty good I mean it, not like Monta but it's it's pretty good you know and then it clouds up in the afternoon or late late afternoon early evening you can see the soccer field down there there's kids down there playing soccer I'm gonna have to go over there and check that place out one of these days but now I'm circling back over Greenlandia, and I uh, hope I'm putting everybody to sleep here because it's kind of slow, but y'all yeah, wanted to see some footage, so here it is. The, there's hills everywhere, and uh, a lot of the houses that you see here, I mean, there's there's a little bit of old and new, you know. Cuenca reminds me of a lot of kind of a Colorado resort town. There's the other half of Green Olandia that's facing to the east. My apartment is right below where I'm flying this drone. There's a Tommy Bomba. And there's some new apartments being built. There's new apartments being built all over this place. This place is really growing. Uh, they say that Monta is a developing community, and it is. Uh, Cuenca is developing as well. You see uh, a lot of these roundabouts like that one right there. You see those in Monte as well. They're all over the place. And there's the Oro Verde Hotel, as I mentioned earlier. A lot of restaurants, lots of specialty shops. And so far, speaking of restaurants, I haven't had a bad meal here yet. The food is amazing. Uh, now, most of the places that I've gone so far have been uh, gringo hangouts, you know. So now I'm taking my little walk from my Jeep, my GoPro. I just got the GoPro in, and I got it hooked to a chest strap, as you can tell, because I'm walking and how it's bouncing up and down. I don't know how well that's going to work out for me, but it does a pretty good job. And I've got it set where it's basically you're seeing what I'm seeing. 
as I walked down the street, but I don't know how much of that up and down I could put up with. I call this the Tommy Bomba River Walk. Somebody else may call it something else, but this this is a really nice wide track. It's beautiful over here. And you can see there's lots of grass, lots of trees. I don't know what kind of trees these are, but they're huge and they're really tall. And so I'm coming over here to the bank. Water's flowing really pretty good. This is a beautiful little city. I'm really impressed by what I've seen here so far. And I've got three more weeks to go. Today makes one week that I've been here. Unfortunately, I spent most of my first week here being sick. And thank God I, I, went, I went and got tested for Omicron and it came back negative. So I didn't have that to worry about. I just had a good old common cold. There's a, a lot of common cold going around, a lot of flu going around. And of course, there's a lot of COVID going around too. back over to the walkway. You gotta be kind of careful when you're walking down this thing and you, you have to be aware of what's going on around you because bicyclists come up behind you all the time. I don't know if you can see it, but past the bridge there, you see a bunch of people down there. Uh, they're washing their clothes. They wash their clothes there. I see them there every day and that's doing it the hard way, folks. I'm telling you, man, we think we have it bad. Nowadays, This is that's hard labor. They're washing all their clothes in that cold water. I wonder if they're using cold water Tide for their soap. Probably not. There's where I almost got splattered by a bicyclist. Now I'm back in the university area, which is right down by the historical district. When I came down these stairs, I was looking for uh, Santo Inez Hospital to go get tested for Omicron. And I, I used GPS on my phone to guide me, and it took me right to it. But I had to come through this area right here, and it's a beautiful area. Just It's the university area, and uh, as you can see right there, university area. It reminds me a lot of uh, Austin, Texas in a lot of ways. It's really beautiful, very modern. This is staying still railing here on this bridge. I thought about counting all the screws on the bridge, but I didn't have time. And of course, what bridge would be complete without some, uh, some little artwork? <laughs> graffiti. Now I'm back into the old district here down where I just cut off a light rail. It's on Sunday morning. It's very quiet. That one old man sitting there feeding the pigeons. I wanted to go there and sit with him, but I didn't want to disturb him. The Tranvia takes me right to this area here. It takes you all the way from the east part of Cuenca or kind of a, actually kind of the northeast side or north, yeah, northwest side of Cuenca to the southwest, southeast side. There is that, I can't remember the name of that church, uh, but that thing is huge. That building is huge with the blue domes on it. This is Parquet Calderon. Beautiful place, beautiful flowers. The blue domes you can see from everywhere. That's kind of like my landmark. If I can find the blue domes, I can I know where I'm at so far, and that's the way I've been doing it. The brickwork on this building is old, 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 and it's just amazing to look at it. And then, of course, I had to take some pictures inside. I found out later from somebody else that, oh, this is a flower that's growing out of the dirt in the side of this building. Uh, but I found out later that you're not really supposed to take pictures inside the the cathedral, man, I, how can you resist? I saw a lot of people in there taking pictures. Beautiful, beautiful architecture. Uh, just really, I got goosebumps walking in this place. And then of course, I think they call this the square. This is right next door. This is where I had a really good burger right there in that corner. Can't remember the name of the restaurant, but there's the domes. But Oh my God, that was a good burger. So this is the view from Turi. You always hear everybody tell you, you gotta go to Turi. You see all the Cuenca from here, it's just amazing. And my driver, uh, Victor Oeda, took me up here on my first day I was here. This was a good test for my altitude uh, tolerance because I had to walk up pretty good climb to get up to that point. 
I'm back now, down back to the university area, and this is on my way to the hospital, the Tony Bomber. They've got these lights that hang out on the river that light up at night. So here is the Tranvia ride. I'm taking the Tranvia down to Sunrise Cafe. Everybody tells you, go to Sunrise Cafe. And so I sat behind the conductor and watched him. I wish I could do this. I'd love to do this. I'd like to do at least drive this train for at least one trip. But, and another thing too, there is, there, you see taxis here, but not like you see them in Monta. Oh my God. Monta has probably three or four times as many taxis as they do here. I literally had to wait this morning, probably 10 minutes to get a taxi to go eat breakfast. But there's four right there. It's probably the only four I probably saw that day. <laughs> well, there's five. But anyway, the Tranvia ride is pretty nice. It's pretty neat. You see a lot of neat stuff, you know. You see a lot of modern infrastructure. You just feel like you're not in another country. I feel like I was back in the States in a lot of areas. Um, it's not a real long ride. It's a pretty short ride. It's, I think it takes from where I'm at in Greenlandia to go down to Sunrise Cafe. It takes longer to walk from where I get off the Tranvia to the actual cafe, which is right here, than it did for me to drive or ride the Tranvia from where, uh, where I was at, at home. This is inside Sunrise Cafe. Not a whole lot to look at. It's a cozy little place. Big old mugs for coffee and their orange juice is fresh squeezed. There's the rest, their menu, and as you see there, classic Benedict, $5.50. And that's what I had for breakfast this morning. That, that was yesterday morning. And there it is. Those potatoes and those eggs Benedict were to die for. So I'm leaving. I'm heading back. I'm just taking pictures of just random stuff. And This right here, I always wondered what these were. And I finally found out from somebody that this shelf is... The whole purpose of this is to put your trash up there to keep the animals out of it. thought that was kind of interesting. you got to be careful, though, because you can be walking down the sidewalk. Those are supposed to be pinned up to the wall, and you can walk right into one of those, especially in the dark. And there's wildflowers growing everywhere, and I think I'm at the end of the video. So uh, I'll have some more coming up soon. This is the end, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, thank you for watching. Ciao.